working on yet another golf cart here uh complaint was that it's really sluggish no power so we're gonna head over here just had it running not too long ago keys on all that here we go that's right to the rugs so we're barely barely moving and i have a feeling i know what it is okay so well i don't know what it is but i think i know why it's sluggish so here's the exhaust manifold and it just ran for a little bit this side's cold this side's hot so it is only running on one cylinder so i got my spark tester on the dead cylinder and we have spark so we know the coil is putting out spark to both cylinders but we don't know if the spark plugs are both sparking so i have both plugs out and i'm gonna turn it over and see if i can see spark in both of them Oh yeah, definitely got spark. So while we're here, we're going to do a sophisticated compression test. I'm just going to stick my finger in the hole of the dead cylinder, crank it over. Ooh, good compression. And this is what it sounds like in the other one. So we got good compression. So now we got to figure out why it's not firing on both cylinders. Could just be that this plug is fouled. I noticed when I was putting it back together that that uh, spark plug wire inside there is all jacked. So I'm going to try to straighten that out. Got that spark plug wire fixed, and while the plugs were out, I cleaned them up with a wire brush. Now I'm ready to try starting this thing again. <laughs> Sounds like two cylinders to me. Let's do the touch test. That one's warm. That one's warm too. Mint. Well, it looks like it could have just been the spark plug wire. The spark plugs were both very carboned up. And um, so I might want to look into it a little further. I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm just going to go through the air filter and stuff like that. And there's other maintenance that needs to be done. One more thing uh, is very critical when you have something that's running on one cylinder like this. Change the oil. Because I bet you anything that the crankcase has an extra half a quart of gas in it. The, you know, that it shouldn't even have at all. Pull your dipstick and uh, give it a sniff and take a look at it. But... It's probably a good idea to change it anyway. This thing, this one's dirty, but anytime something's running rough or anything like that, you should change the oil just in case.